In this video, we're going to learn how to adjust the graphing window from the graphing window. We're not going to use the menus. So we need to get a graphing uh, window up here. So let's go home, one, and then select two for add a graph. Now we need a graph. So let's go ahead and put in x squared plus two. And everything's on the screen is changeable. You mainly just have to click on it and, it and you're able to change it. So first things first, let's just talk about moving the graph around. So you pick an area where there's, the graph isn't. You press down the uh, center button till the hand grabs it and then you can let go and then swish it back and forth and move it around and hit escape to get what you want. Next thing you can do is you can adjust the domain and range by clicking on one of the boxes and changing in a new number that you like. Clicking on tab moves you to the next one and you can put in the value that you would like for that. And then tab all the way around and you can resize the window to your uh, liking. So again, you never have to leave the screen what you see is what you get and you can get a sense of what it looks like. You also can change the axes by changing the scale. So if you double click on the scale, put in the number you want. Here we're just going to make it a scale of 1 on the X and a scale of 1 on the Y. So I double click onto the, the Y scale now and put in a 1 and hit enter and I've changed the scale. If you want to change the um, equations or the axes, you can. If you're going to do the axes, you just grab it and then you can push it in or pull it out and that will change the scales. It's like a zoom in or a zoom out. Very handy. You also can change the equation. Just double click on that. A little backspace and then put in the equation you want. Let's put in the cubic this time. Let's put in x cubed minus three. Check that, x cubed minus one sounds more fun. So let's do that. And hit enter. And there's our new graph. We can also change the legends. I don't think you really need to, but if you'd like, you can change the legends. And so you can put in uh, feet and let's put in time down here. Let's click down here. There we go. And I'll just backspace and put in time. And there you go. So we've shown in this video how to adjust the graphing window. If you have any questions, rewatch the video or talk to your teacher.